All right, Graham's law of effusion, which is the same as Graham's law of diffusion, uh, relates the rates at which molecules move to their molar masses. Please note that the rate here, rate one, corresponds to the molar mass on the bottom of this fraction, and rate two corresponds to the speed of the molecule on the top of this fraction. These capital M's are molar masses, and rate is basically just like speed of the molecules. The reason this whole thing works is that if you're at a constant temperature, the kinetic energy of the atoms or molecules on average is the same. So the kinetic energies, one half mv squared, are identical. The halves cancel out here because they're equivalent on both sides. And if you're trying to relate the masses to the speeds, we put speeds on both sides. That's v1 over v2 squared. And m2 is already on the top of this fraction over here. We divide it by m1 squared. So we're isolating v's on the left, m's on the right. And then to undo these squares, we have to square root both sides. Oh, look, it's the exact same formula. It comes from basic Newtonian kinetic energy. Whatever. The point is, how many times faster is neon than xenon? Now, this works for diffusion, where you have two big bulks of them and they are mixing together slowly. And it works for effusion, where you have one bulk of one gas, or like a mixture of the two, and they're moving through a hole to escape to like the atmosphere. Effusion is through the hole, diffusion is for when the two bulks are mixing together. The point is that neon is smaller and so moves faster. But how much faster? Well, we're trying to compare the rate of NE to the rate of XE. How many times faster is it? Put NE on top. We need the molar mass of Xe uh, in the numerator of the other fraction and the molar mass of Ne on the top of, or the bottom of this fraction. Now to get the molar masses, you just look it up on a periodic table. Here I see that xenon is 131.29, 121, wait, what did I say? 120, oh, 131.29. And the molar mass of neon, according to this, is 20.18, 20.18. Now I can just do this on the calculator. I can type the square roots with it as well. That's the square root of 131.29 divided by the square root of 20.18. The answer I get is 2.55, which means that NE is 2.55 times faster than Xe. So if you have a big balloon full of both neon and xenon, and then you poke a hole in the balloon, well, I guess it's going to pop. But if the balloon like holds together and then it's just escaping through the hole, you're going to get two and a half times as much neon escaping in terms of like number of molecules as you are xenon. Eh, it's just how it goes. Neon's traveling faster, so of course it's going to escape faster which prisoners can escape jail the fastest, the smallest ones. Uh, I don't know, there's an analogy in there somewhere. Hey, Graham's Law of Fusion Diffusion is super easy. The rates are inversely proportional to the square roots of the molar masses. Plug what you know into the formula. Hint, you should know what the molar masses are and figure it out. Best of luck.